Sometimes it only takes one book, one, to make a good week of book selling into a great week of book selling. That's what I want to show you today. Hey, this is Shane. Uh, welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel. And I was getting ready to uh, box some stuff up, get it ready to, to send out. And I thought, oh, it's a good time to just kind of go over some stuff that's sold in roughly the last week, maybe seven to 10 days. I've actually sold like a thousand bucks worth of stuff on eBay and uh, Amazon, mostly eBay. Uh, for, for me, I'm, I'm more of an eBay seller, but I'm, I've get, you know got some stuff out there on Amazon I enjoy just sending it in, let the FBA handle it. And it's kind of like that little bonus when your phone dings and says something's sold there on Amazon too. But I thought, hey, I'm getting ready to, to you know, ship this stuff, uh, the things that I haven't already shipped this week. So let's, let's do this video and I think you guys will get a kick out of it. But there's really one book that totally changed the week. So uh, I was kind of psyched about that. So let me show you the things that um, I'm getting ready to, that I haven't that I haven't boxed yet. And I'll, I'll show you these real quick. And then we'll talk about, go through the list of things that have showed and do some pop-ups of, of them on, on the screen. So uh, here's a, a magazine on fantasy art. Sold for $13. I did charge uh, $7.95, $8.95 shipping for this. So I can ship it priority. I won't lose my shirt on on this magazine. So learn my lesson on that. So that's good. Uh, that's one I only had out there about a week. First year Polish took a best offer. It sold for $20. So that's good. Um, okay, dictionaries. I'm having some good success with these with dictionaries now. This was a uh, Spanish two volumes set in a slipcover. The sucker sold for a 45. I think I had, um, I had two or three dollars in it. It was pretty, pretty good. So, okay, here's uh, one. All right, make it stick. I intended on this selling on Amazon. It had really good comps, but I went in to list it and it said, no, we're not accepting used or new or anything on this. So I went to eBay. I listed it for 18, I think, to be competitive. It sold, uh, I took a best offer for 15. So sold really quick, like I expected it to, but I would have made more, I believe, if I would gotten it on Amazon. But it's one of those that, I don't know if it's just the book, the publisher, whatever, weren't accepting anything new or used on this one. So anyway, all right, here's a set of, I've had these for a while. So I got a best offer, these this Statehood Quarters Collection. And I had bought... It's kind of funny. I bought these probably over a year ago. There were here's a here's another one. These sold together, and I got them at a state sale. What was funny? It was half price state. And I got these for like ten dollars each, and you know it's these cards. I'll just, I'll show you one right. So here's the great state of Michigan, right? And it has two quarters, and and it's mounted where you can see you know see everything about it in the state quarter series. Well, what's funny about this? is I got these for like 10 bucks each and each of the volumes, the monetary value was worth like $14. So I'm like, when I went to buy, I said, are these are half, these are like $10? And the lady's like, yeah. And so I bought them and she's like, those are nice. I said, yeah, there's $14 worth of quarters in each one of these. So she thought that was funny. Um, probably, probably was mad that she sold them that way. Well, I listed them and the first one or two of them sold they sold for like 129 bucks or something made good money on it these two are part of this um this is the state headquarters collection they've just sat there languished and somebody offered me 79.99 i think i had brought them down to like 99.99 so i'm each in the middle sold them for 90 bucks um again i've got 20 bucks in them the reality is i could have just if i wanted to take the quarters out i could have made 28 bucks that way, right? I wouldn't want to do that. I mean, somebody would enjoy it, but um, I make like 50 bucks off these after fees and stuff and my costs. So anyway, 40, 50, I didn't make as much as I wanted to, but I made 40 or 50 bucks. They're out of my inventory. Somebody will enjoy them. Uh, move on, right? Uh, okay, so that's the things that I haven't shipped. I'm getting ready to box up and ship. So now I'll go through the my my list to, sh to show you what's sold, I'll do the pop-ups. And uh, the first thing, uh, all, and all the stuff I just showed you was like $240 worth of stuff. So um, the first thing I'll show you is a really good sale on Amazon, just happened a couple days ago, this Holt Collier book. It was, uh, 
It's been there several months. I knew it was going to be a little longer tail, but it sold for 122 bucks. I made like $98 profit on it. I only paid a buck for it. And it was this you know, book on um, this Holt Collier who was like a hunter, uh, woodsman, and he did a bunch of stuff, guides and, and hunting things with um, Teddy Roosevelt. And there's some stories and songs and things that happened with Teddy Roosevelt, but it was a great book. Sold at 122 bucks. I only had a buck in it. It's had sat there on Amazon for a while, but hey, it was one of those long tails that sold, and I expected that when I sent it in. So that was a $122 book. Again, I made like a hundred bucks profit off of it. All right, so so now the other stuff I'm gonna show you that sold on eBay within the last seven or eight days, whatever. All right, the first is this this Aviance Night Musk. If you remember, this is probably um I don't know, it may, have, it may have been earlier in the spring. It could have been last fall. I bought a bunch of these, these unused Night Musk perfumes, unopened, so I could sell them. If they're open or, or used now, eBay changed their thing on that where you can't do that. But these are like Prince, was it Prince Matcha Belly? Um, little 2.5 ounces. And I've sold several of these. Uh, I asked like 50 bucks for them. I sold several at 50. Somebody offered me 25 and I'm like, okay, whatever. I've got, I think I got six or eight more of these. And I think I got the whole, a whole box of these things for like two bucks. So it's just one of those I've already made, you know, I've already, I've already made like a hundred times my, my initial investment and I've, I've still got six or eight of these. So that's great. Um, I have to say that I don't think this smells good, but Hey, somebody says it's, I've had people say that was their scent in the nineties and they love it. So, you know, Hey, you do you. Um, the next, uh, thing I sold was a book on Go. I think it's like, I think it's a Japanese game. I, I, uh, it's, it's something I don't, I don't know much about. Um, but it's, I've sold several books on Go before, and this one sold for, for $13. Um, then th this is a very re a recent listing, this, uh, this German, English German Bible, and it sold for, for $49.99 and it sold really pretty quick. Well, it was kind of cool about it. It was really thick, but when you opened it up, it had like English on one side and German on the other side. And, you know, so it, it was, it was, it was really pretty cool. I've, I've actually had some pretty good luck on, you know, some of the, you know, the multilingual, you know, Bible books. So it'll be something I'll continue to look for. I think I, I paid, I think I paid six bucks for that one. I paid up for it. About Alabama pricing, that was like gold, right? So, um, but yeah, forty nine ninety nine. So that's a good one. Then uh, I sell all these uh, Tank It magazines, and these things are almost like little flyers. I mean, they're they're little publications. Um, there were six of them. They sold for nineteen ninety nine. Um, that was great, and that was those were so light. They were able to go like the first first class or what's now what's this the the USPS ground so I didn't have a big issue on you know shipping costs on those uh then this um this this one this next one I've sold multiple times this interlinear um Greek translations of the scriptures it's this purple volume it's whenever I see it it's easy to remember because in one it'll be usually like it's in the religious book sections but it's this purple thing it just jumps out at me but anytime you see these Greek uh translations uh, you know, anything studying the Greek with the Bible, look, look for it. It's, you know, I've sold this particular one multiple times. Um, I think I was asking 30 something. I took a best offer of twenty nine ninety nine, So that was good. And, um, so all that's adding up, you know, it's getting, there's a few hundred bucks there, but then the big one, I sold this book. It's the secret of light. It was 1947 double signed by this Walter Russell and his wife, Lau, Sold it for four hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Uh, that's you know, and this Walter Russell, you know, he got into um, yeah, some people say kind of a mystic. He kind of got into you know, kind of had this theology that he you know started putting out in the forties and fifties, and wrote several books. I've still got um, I had found those at my library. It's kind of funny is that it was. Um, that one and several others that are signed by him, as well as some some older yoga, yogi, spiritual books that were signed by the yogi to a lady um, that lived in Harvest, Alabama 
in the 40s. I mean, Harvest isn't super built up now. I can imagine in the 40s, and then a lady that was like, you know, into, you know, this, you know, the, the spirituality, uh, not just what we think of today as in yoga, but, you know, all the different, you know, phases of yoga and then this Walter Russell and, you know, it's just, I, I can't imagine how she might have been perceived uh, in Harvest, Alabama in the 40s. And these books had, had nice messages to her and then signed, and sometimes they were signed in multiple places, but this particular one I just sold, $499, was signed by Walter Russell and his wife, so it was double signed, and I paid four bucks for it. And there's a lot of those I only paid four. I've, I've sold a lot of the yoga books and the yogi books, and but I've, I've got three or four more of the Walter Russells. Um, I'll show you, here's, here's an example, the message of the Divine Iliad, and you can see where he had his gift inscription and signed him and his wife in 1950. And um, yeah. And then sometimes they're signed again there. This is volume two. I've got volume one and two of this one selling the, the, the Divine Iliad. Um, and then and that's the first volume one. And then he had, I had the book of early whisperings from him and again, see to the same lady, 1950. It's a gift inscription, then also signed by him, right? I think I got these out there for like three or four hundred, four four fifty as well. So we'll see. I paid four bucks each for those, and um, I've sold one of them. So four ninety nine. So a good takeaway. Uh, just in closing, is you know this happens when you're sourcing as well as you're selling. It only takes one, one book to make a sourcing day or a selling day just flip, just flip from a bad day to a great day or a good day to a great day. For me, hey, I sold a thousand dollars worth of stuff in this, this last, you know, this like seven to nine days and half of that came from one book. I'll take it. Um, you know, but it also shows that, you know, there's other stuff in there. It's not all about $500 books. You know, there's, there's 12, there's 20s, there's, it all adds up. So anyway, um, just keep, see cool, buy cool, uh, list it, sell it and, um, have fun with it. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I look forward to, to, to tell me some of your success stories in the last, last month and, uh, share them. Look forward to it. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.